good feedback on my last cooking video, I will show you guys another one. So today I'm gonna to be preparing tacos. Um, not only tacos, but a taco salad for those of you who are healthy. Um, I love tacos. I eat tacos every two weeks, whether it be chicken, mostly chicken tacos. But for a while there, I was doing bean and corn, which is very easy to do. So I always like to add, you know, pimp up my food. So I'm gonna show you guys, like I said, both the uh, chicken tacos and a taco salad, basically. So for seasonings, I have salt, garlic powder, onion powder, chili powder, taco seasoning, and some cumin. You're gonna need some olive oil. Um, and now we're gonna get into a little bit more of the tacos itself. I have some corn here that I'm sauteing on the oven. I'll show you in a minute. I have some tortillas that I'm gonna fry up later on. I have some honey sauce and then I have some sour cream. Now I'm still debating whether or not, I don't know. Typically I mix chipotle or sour cream to make me a sauce. So I'm debating whether or not I want to do this or do the bacani sauce. And then for the salad, we have tomatoes. We have, of course, lettuce. We have shredded carrots. Then we have beans. Um, you can have any type of beans. I have black beans here, jalapenos. I have a cilantro avocado dressing, excuse me. And then I have some tortilla strips. So for the chicken, I have chicken tenders and I have a can of Rotel tomatoes. Now I'm not gonna use this entire can. I'll just use half of it, but you can always freeze it, which is what I will probably do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is place this chicken into a pot and pour some water over it, barely covering the chicken and allow it to boil. I am gonna put a few seasonings in it. Um, and then once that's done, I'm gonna put in the half a can of Rotel tomatoes and I'll show you guys everything. On the oven here, and I t just turned it off actually because I didn't want it burning, I have some corn. I have here three fourths of a, of a cup of corn. I have some onion, I added some chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder. I didn't add any salt, I just didn't want to. And of course I'm sauteing this in some olive oil. Now, personally for me, if I had the ingredients on hand, I would add um, fresh jalapeno, cilantro, but I'm cooking what I have in my fridge. I'm pretending like we're in a recession. I'm just cooking what I have on hand, okay? My shirt says, after this, we're getting tacos. I told you I like tacos. Real quick, teach your kids how to cook. My son is in the kitchen with me, typically on the other side of this counter when I'm cooking. He's learning a couple of things because the way that some of these kids are growing up, my son's gonna be getting fed hamburger helper. Now, ain't nothing wrong with hamburger helper. I grew up eating it, but you need to learn how to cook, baby girl. Here is my chicken. So now I'm going to shred this up, place it in my skillet with a little bit of olive oil and just a little bit. You know, I'm not even going to do half the can, just maybe one or two tablespoons of the real tail. Let me see, I got my Rotel tomatoes here. I'm spilling it everywhere. You know, let me go ahead and sprinkle some in. Sprinkle me, baby, sprinkle me. Is that E40? Sorry, y'all. That actually did end up being a half a can. Okay, and my eye is on low. Um, yeah, I'm eyeballing this. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I know some of y'all are thinking, girl, just pour the whole can. No, no. All right, let me see. 
I'm gonna do a taste to see how this is standing up. I'm gonna add a little bit more liquid and it should be ready in about eight or so minutes. All right, so the chicken is done. Um, and now what I'm about to do is I'm about to fry me up some taco shells, basically using these yellow corn tortillas. Now I put some chicken to the side to cool off to go on top of my husband's salad. Mom will be greedy and I'm gonna make me some tacos. So this is a, it's a cast iron skillet. I'm trying to figure out the measurements. I think it's a 10 inch, <coughs> excuse me, it's either eight or 10 inch. I have a lot of cast irons. Can y'all see me? Now I'm not trying to catch my hair on fire. I'm trying to dip over and see. So I'm gonna take this, clean this off. So I'm gonna drop this in. I'm gonna turn my eye back up because that oil's not even ready. Put some vegetable oil in, in here, but I typically do this even with olive oil. Olive oil isn't the greatest oil to fry with because it has a high burning um, point or whatever, but um, when I'm pretending to be healthy, I fry in olive oil. <coughs> so see how that's frying up and it's bubbling up some, just a few seconds. Now it's, it's making it to where now I can flip it over. So now I'm just gonna basically make a taco. Now they even have molds for these. Molds, is that how you say it? I, I don't pronounce all my syllables and vowels with my country self. I want this a little bit harder. Probably flipped it over too soon. There we go. So now I'm gonna flip this over, hold my fork down to make me a taco shell. I'm just gonna drain that all up and there we go. That's my taco shell. I'm gonna drain this off and put it over to the side there and put the next one in. Tacos all done, fried up. Don't these, don't these look good? Got my filling here. And tacos are so versatile. I mean, you eat pork, you can do pork. We try to stay away from pork. My husband doesn't even touch it. Um, we've done steak tacos, shredded beef tacos. All right, and I got my corn here that I'm gonna put in just a little bit. Mm. This is just regular romaine lettuce. Sometimes I don't even add lettuce, but then here is my sour cream chipotle sauce. I know y'all can't really see this, so I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like once I'm done. All right, so here we have my shredded chicken tacos. I put a little bit of lettuce on it, a little bit of sour cream with chipotle sauce. I didn't put any on that one because I, I, I'm hungry. And here is my husband's taco salad. Um, I again put the tricolor tortilla strips. He has jalapenos, didn't put any beans on his, and he has plenty of chicken. So I'm hungry. I'm gonna go ahead, sit down, give me something to drink, watch The Walking Dead, and eat my tacos. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching.